Swole Benji here. If you're like me, you like grinding, you like grinding to 70, you'll probably have a level 58 character that you used to get, you know, instant level 58, and you'll start with some ice greens and some starter gold. Well, this is the grinding guide for you. Grinding to 70 allows you to just kind of turn your brain off and peace out and just take it easy. You, you can hit 70 in just a few days, uh, just pure grinding. It doesn't take too long. It is monotonous and kind of boring, but hey, this allows you to watch anime, watch movies, you know, listen to music. You don't have to use your brain power to do quests like every everyone else is going to be questing, but you... You will be grinding, I will be grinding, we're all going to be grinding, and you'll you'll just have so much rep and, and stuff. But let's get into the video. So, first off, at level 58, you want to go here to Eastern Plague Lands and go to this spot at the top of the map. And you're going to fight Scourge Siege Engineers. Uh, it, you have to kill 451 of these guys to hit 59, and then 484 of them to hit 60. And they die super, super easy, like... Uh, well, I can just go in here and AoE these guys down, actually, so let's just do that. I'm just gonna run in, pop Consecrate, and you don't have to be an AoE class. And, uh, I might have pulled too many here, but, uh... <laughs> and, uh, I can bubble here. Like, this is e extremely easy. They're just basic melee. I don't have my shield up for this part, so I'm just gonna protection here and <laughs> reset the fight. I I'm also not even wearing that much gear, <laughs> so, oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to record this for the video, but you get the point. If These things are incredibly easy to kill. They drop good loot. They give Argent Dawn reputation, and you're going to be rolling in the silver, rolling in the rune cloth. These guys are absolutely the easiest things to grind at this level. They have the lowest HP pools, so go ahead and kill these until you're level 60. All right, now next up, if you're already level 60, you can start here. Now, this is Hellfire Peninsula, which will be super, super crowded. So this might not be an option depending on how layering is, but it's definitely a better option because you know that 30 instants per day limit will still be on live servers. They're not turning that off, no sir. So there's two places. The Bone Stripper Buzzards here, again, it's located right here. Uh, these things are a very popular AoE creature. They're kind of scattered around, especially like, like all around here you can find them, but their true, actual, best place to grind is the unyielding footmen and they are right up top here I've already killed a few uh, it's it's right above the expedition armory this whole area now they do have kind of a slower respawn rate but like these things are incredibly easy to kill they're undead so if you're a paladin like my character here then they're, they're just so easy to kill and uh, <laughs> they can't really do much to stop you like this guy's already dying <laughs> And I've, I've spent like maybe, what, 5 to 10 seconds in combat, something like that? Anyway, um, it, you're going to have to kill about 924 of these to hit 61 and 1,132 to hit level 62. And that's without that's without rested. If you are rested, it's half as many. It's not so bad. Uh, just grind it out. You'll be rich. You'll be making the dosh. And uh, it, it's, it's so much better than... <laughs> it's so much better than doing dungeons with people that uh, just make you seethe and all that kind of stuff. Now, once you're hit 62, you're going to go here in this little dip area of Hellfire Peninsula, and you're going to kill the Stone Scythe Alphas, Stone Sith, I don't know how to say it, kill the Alphas and the Whelps. You're going to need to kill about 1,200 of these bad boys uh, to hit level 63. It might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less, but they are around level uh, 60 to 61. So, if you kill the 60s, obviously it takes more than 1,200. If you kill the 61s, it's 1,200. Alright, now this is what I like to call a gamer move. As soon as you hit 63, you're going to go all the way to Neg Grand, right here, uh, southeast of Forge Camp Fear, or northwest of Oshugun. And this is such a hidden gem, like, on fresh servers and whatnot. No one ever comes here, and if you come here early, these mobs will be kind of uh, orange. But they're so easy to kill. These things, not only are, well, they're undead, of course, but they drop really good loot. They have no special abilities. These things are also really great to AoE as well. And uh, <laughs> they're, they're so easy to kill. They're incredibly easy to kill. Like, you don't even really have to try. You can just nuke them down. So easy. You kill 1,029 of them uh, to hit 64, and then it gets even easier at 64. Then you kill 1,119 to hit 65. Uh, it's on the screen if you want to know the kill counts, but dude, these things, they, they just melt. 
<laughs> These things melt so fast. And and the loot's good. You get money, you get uh, crystal powder samples, you get all sorts of fun stuff from these guys. Netherweave, uh, that, there's nothing more that you can ask for. No one ever comes here, and you will be so far ahead of the pack if you just grind, 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 grind. Everyone else is going to exhaust their 30 dungeons per day value, and then they're going to be stuck questing. But you, you're a grind, Chad. You, you'll just grind it out here, and... Uh, like, <laughs> you're, uh, oh, that's a rare spawn. Uh, it's just a really great place. They respawn really quickly. They're easy to AoE. If you're an AoE class, man, you, you can bust this out amazingly fast. Like, if Joker D, uh, Joker, however you say his name, if he's playing TBC, he'll definitely be here on his mage blowing these ghosts up, man, I tell you. All right, and finally, once you hit 68, you'll come to Blade's Edge Mountain, and you're going to be right here at Death's Door. And you're just going to kill the demons. These guys, uh, they're scaled way down for their level. These are the easiest things to kill at level 68. They just die so easy. <laughs> they, they die stupidly easy. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they die incredibly fast. They drop decent loot like everything else I've mentioned in this video. And uh, there's tons of them. And this area will be empty. Other players... They aren't coming here for quite a while. They're too busy doing their quest chains, you know, wasting that silver. They're too busy doing their dungeons with all their pals and trying to fit in with each other and not upset each other over <laughs> minuscule little, little triggering things. But you, you're the you're the grind, Chad. You're out here killing these demons. You're literally the doom guy. Just kill all the demons. And uh, you're going to not only be rich. Here's a couple I've killed. And uh, you're gonna be super wealthy. Ooh, see, I got some Motes of Shadow, I got some Marks of Sargeras. Heck yeah, dude, those things are gonna sell for so much from all the GDKP whales that'll be on the servers, man, I tell you. And uh, these things are just cool, they're fun to kill, they're easy to kill, and you got this, man. You can grind this out in like two days. You'll be like two days later, boom, level 70. Haven't even touched a dungeon. Who, who needs those right now, right? And if if you're a level 60 and you're already raid geared, like tier 2 or higher, bro, you can bang this out in one day, man. You'll be so freaking powerful. You can just smash through these monsters like they're nothing. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you out here grinding. Uh, if, you ha if you're leveling straight from level 1 on the pre-patch, please check out my other grinding video. It's levels 1 to 40 in 2 days. You can do it through grinding, though. Honestly, if you're doing leveling in pre-patch, you should probably just pay for dungeon boosts. Not gonna lie, okay? That's really the faster way to do it. Uh, anyway, I'm Swolebidju. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts, and I will see you in the next one.